Welcome back. Pollution concerns in the Artiga River. The problem, there's a shopping center under construction there at Roosevelt Marketplace and silt is flowing into the river. News for Jack's meteorologist Danielle Juliano spoke with the Riverkeeper about how recent rains are also contributing to the problem. The month of July started off with 11 straight days of rainfall in Jacksonville. Shannon Blankenship, the advocacy director at the St. John's River Keeper, says the heavy rains have caused silt from the construction site at Roosevelt Marketplace to flow into the nearby storm canal that leads into the Ortega River. Whenever you have active construction, you have earth being moved and you have dirt being moved, you have to ensure that that dirt doesn't have access to a nearby waterway. The river keepers have been receiving reports of visible silt flowing into the Ortega River, impacting the river's turbidity. In layman's terms, the degree to which you can't see through the water anymore. The first time that we saw an active violation um, of construction at the Roosevelt Mall was in January of 2020. We've continued to receive reports um, through April, May, and June. And so as you can see, you know, as, as we're getting more and more rain, we're starting to see more and more violations. And we should expect that through the continuation of the summer months. Once the sediment is in the river, it changes the river's elevation and can prevent sunlight from reaching vegetation that lives at the bottom of the river. If you don't have sunlight, then your grass beds aren't able to grow. The grass beds are the nurseries for our crabs and our oysters and all of the fish that live in our waterways. Blankenship says the river keepers have been working alongside the city of Jacksonville to try and find a solution. The city of Jacksonville, as well as the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, are both um, agencies that uh, are looking into this and then um, trying to understand what kinds of um, updates to the current uh, uh, barriers and devices that are on site, um, how those need to be improved in order to ensure compliance in the future. Danielle Juliano, Channel 4, The Local Station.